Better. What's his blood pressure? That's his temperature. No. No? Mm -hmm. What's his blood pressure? It's not hot. It's hot. No, okay. your that's your temperature. It's hot. <gasps> his temperature's hot? Let me see. <gasps> oh, you're hot. You have to stay home mm -hmm. from school. And your blood pressure is... 120 over 80. What? I want you to do my nose. You want me to look in your nose? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Ew! You have boogers! <laughs> oh my goodness, you have so many boogers. Let me see your ears. Oh, they need to clean. Let me see the other one. You're hot. You're hot. Dude, you got some waxy ears. <laughs> I have what? Uh -huh. I can check. You have water in the ears. I have water in my ears. Yeah. That's not good. I'm going to come in. I don't know what they want. Stop moving. And then. Guys, I, so I want to record a video. Oh, a toy. I want to record a video today about when we went to Vegas. What? I want to record a video today about when we went to Vegas. <laughs> Do you do you remember what we ouch? What we needed for our trip? What did we need? Our suitcase. Our suitcase. Go get your suitcase and show me. Okay, I can't find them. I'll set up the camera. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to our channel. We are the Brian Bunch, and I am Jada. I wanted to show you guys what it was like traveling with toddlers during COVID. Last month, we went to Las Vegas for Christmas to visit my mom, and not I'm not gonna say I was freaking out, but I just wanted to be really cognizant of everything that we were gonna need and everything that we brought. So I'm gonna start off with the boys' suitcase. So this was kind of like their carry-on. It was fun, kid-themed, with some good wheels on the bottom. And they were able to carry these themselves. The straps actually tuck in so you can put them on or tuck them in. It's very versatile. There's a lot of room in the middle. And then there's two pockets on the front. So there's a pocket for like, you know, arts and crafts type of things. So all of your pencils and pens and all that stuff. My kids don't really use that because they draw all over the plane. Um, and then in the front, there's like a third pocket. So it was definitely very useful and the boys loved it. By the way, it was from Price Mart, which is kind of like a Caribbean Costco. Um, so you could probably find something like it at a Costco. Headphones. I got these on Amazon. I will put the link below. These are great. We had no problems with them. I really am against headphones because I want to be able to hear what my kids are listening to. But on the plane, this was like definitely necessary and useful. Okay, third. These are like my favorite things ever. These are awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna show you because why not? This is like a pillow that blows up and goes below your child's feet. So it makes their chair into a bed. So they're basically in first class. So it has two ways to blow it up, which I think is really cool. You blow it up this way and then when you release it, it's a quick release. So when it was time to go, I just pop, psh, done. It was like so quick. Okay, so I didn't totally blow it up. I blew it up like halfway, but there's two parts that blow up. So there's two holes, like a top section, which is just this part, and then it blows up the bottom section. And then when you want to let it go, you just do the full release and it, it, it's really good. So we just had these in the boys' backpacks and I just folded them up when we were done and threw them right back in here. It was really, really quick and easy. Most planes have chargers now, so make sure to bring your charger. I brought like a bunch of portable chargers and I ended up not really needing them. That's something to just kind of remember. Put it with your kid's iPad so that if they die, you have something. Masks. Okay, this mask pack is from schoolmaskpacks.com. It's from Crayola. One pack is five. We have 25 so that every day the boys go to school, they have 
five masks that they can go to school with. Obviously you need them. I brought all 25, put them in a Ziploc bag in my purse, and then if the boys needed a new one, having a ton of these in my bag was really, really useful. And they're washable. And for the boys, I put just N95 pads in front of them. So that's just filtering the air, basically. Keep it simple. Next, I actually had Mickey Mouse hand sanitizer in each of the boys' bags, which really wasn't necessary because they kept on coming to me for their hand sanitizer and that was in my purse. So carrying hand sanitizer is like a must. Make sure you don't forget it if you're traveling. And that was before COVID. So even more with COVID, but like always have hand sanitizer if you're traveling. Antibacterial wipes. These ones are Justice League. So the boys actually really liked carrying these around. Also having baby wipes. They're still kids, they're toddlers. Make sure you have wipes but antibacterial wipes to wipe down their seats, to wipe down their iPads, to wipe down whatever it is that they're touching. Watch them closely, but don't go overboard. Going on the plane and you know wearing a mask and having dry skin and everything. Before, when you used to have dry skin, and then now you wear a mask and there's COVID and you're you know bundled up all day long. And so for me, I was wearing an N95 mask like sealed around my mouth and it was hot and it was sweaty and it was nasty. And this came in handy is the Skin by Nikwe Sunkissed Face Oil. Guys, a little goes a long way, and look how much I use on our trip. The ingredients are argon oil, grapeseed oil, rosehip oil, lavandin essential oil, and dried roses. And it's, this is a two ounce bottle. I carried this everywhere. I mean, I put this on probably like 10 times on the plane. I put it on my kids, I put it on my husband. Then we went to Las Vegas, the driest place that I've ever been in my entire life. This was like a lifesaver. I'd be walking around the house like, oh, I need some oil, I feel, I feel a dry spot coming on and this was just like I can't I will rave about it all day long but if you are traveling wherever you're traveling to on the plane wear this and you won't get that like dryness and that nastiness like always drink water but this will just soak your skin in a way that I really didn't even know was possible lastly this little handy dandy bag on our way up we did not use this we still had our double stroller but we left the double stroller in vegas which is like a big deal i've had that stroller since before the boys were born so i've had it for almost four years and have used it on the beach at the park the walking waterfront anywhere that i went going grocery shopping i use that stroller for everything and a stroller is really a way to strap your kids in where they cannot get out it just makes life easier but my kids are just ready to be out of their stroller they're ready to be independent they're almost four years old and so I had bought these beforehand and it's basically like a leash it's from Dr. Meter and I'll link it below as well so this is the parents hook the other parent hook has a double so I could I wore this one and it's so like there's so much safety to it this one has a key on it for extra security I can lock that and now they can't undo it and I'll link this below. And then this is the part that links to me. It's actually really long. They can go pretty far with it. They want to run. They want to. They want to run through the airport. They want to see all the things that there is to see. But what I like is that it doesn't twist their arm. They run this way. This swivels. So if it turns, I'm not. You know, I'm not twisting my arm, and they're not twisting their arm. Those are all the things that you need to travel with toddlers during COVID. Um, and I hope that that was a really useful video for you guys and just little little tips and things that you guys can pick up um, To make your travels safe so safe travels and I hope you guys enjoyed our video